very, very loaded question, right? Lots of moving parts. Right, so we're painting uh, the walls, right? Just the walls, does say ceiling, and we're installing carpet, right? That's Those are the two main things that are being done. We know the dimensions of the room. We know that there are two windows, right? Two windows that measure two by eight. A closet door, and you have a closet door that's three by seven. And we have an entrance door that's four by seven. Uh, we have one coat of primer and three coats of paint. That's also important to note. Uh, this will help us determine the cost of priming the room. This will help us determine the cost of painting. And this bullet, I try to do that by the way, I'll organize it to a certain degree, right? Not just write a whole bunch, like a long uh, word problem. I try to put some bullets in there. Carpet is sold in rolls. Oh, okay. That's important to note that cover that many square centimeters. And this is the cost of it. So that that right there should probably tell you, wait a minute, everything is in feet, but all of a sudden we're dealing centimeters squared. Got to watch out for that. Okay. So uh, calculate the total cost of applying the primer after tax. So I'm going to go surface area of the walls. Right. I would just go and grab these numbers. So 15 times 20. Oops, sorry. Back up, back up. And so there's no, no ceiling, right? No ceiling. Okay, back up. So I, I kind of get rid of the length and I'm just going to go 20 times 10, right? Plus 2 times 15 times 10. Right, I just go length and height, width and height. That's, that's what matters. And if you don't have it in that order, that's fine. You will get the same answer. So this ends up being 300 plus... This gives me 300 here, 150 times 2, and this is 200 times 2, which is 400. And so that that is the equivalent of 700 square feet, okay? Uh, but you need to subtract, right? So serve, I call the surface area to be painted, right? So that would be 700 minus, and go up here, two windows that measure 2 by 8, right? Minus one of the doors, which is 3 by 7 minus the entrance door, which is four by seven. So you need to subtract the surface areas that are not gonna require paint, right? Um, so here we go, 700 minus, this is 16 times two is 32, minus 21, minus 28. And that gives me 619 square feet, okay? I would say, <clears throat> let me see here. I would say that if you get to here, I would give you uh, one and a half marks, or no, one for today. Just one mark if you get the 619 right. That shows up <clears throat> for sure a mark already for this question. And um, it's only one code, so this is irrelevant, but I'm, I just want you to make sure you understand. So one code times 619, so 619 square feet uh, need to get the code of primer. So I'll figure out the cans, which is 619 divided by um, one can of primer covers 16.7 uh, 16 square meters. That is also um, going to be some conversion needed. So I'm going to figure that out on the side here. Okay. So uh, I will convert that to square feet. Okay, so 16.7 squared meters. I know mm -hmm. that one, one foot has 0 0.3048 uh, meters, correct? That's the conversion uh, rate that I would use, and you need to square that. Okay, so that amounts to 16.7 square meters times one square foot over uh, 0 0.0929 and that keeps going squared meters okay so this I can cancel so if I divide this by that I get what one can covers in square feet and I'll just give you the answer here maybe I will do this on on the screen 16.7 divided by let me do this first here 
0.3048 squared, right? And then I go 16.7 divided by that answer. So that's 179.75. You would be tempted to round, right? But I wouldn't, I don't round here. So one can covers that much square feet. So I will actually do that here. 179.75 dot 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 square feet. Okay, I'm just telling myself that that number is the equivalent of that many square feet. So to figure out how many cans, okay, I just need to take that value that I just calculated. By the way, I give you a mark for that, for doing that conversion. Wherever it happened on this paper, I give you a mark for that. Divided by 179.75, and that keeps going. That would give me, according to my answer key here, 3.44 something cans, which is approximately four cans that are required. Okay. And so the cost after tax would be four times 75.99. And you can actually just go times 1.12 right away. Did I show you that? I don't know if I, I did. You can do it all in one shot. Okay, because it's after tax that I want. And that answer ends up being $340.44. If you get this value, regardless of how you organized your work, if there's a dollar sign, you get three out of three for this part. Okay, Regardless of how you did it, uh, I don't know if some of you converted the square feet to square meters. That is okay, right? You still get the same answer. Okay? I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't want to force you to... Uh, but really, the breakdown would be one mark for this, one mark for some sort of conversion, and then one mark for coming up with the final answer, including taxes. And um, today, you give yourself a mark out of three, but, you know... I will probably look at it anyways and see, you know, maybe adjust it. But you just go ahead and give give a mark there. Assign yourselves a mark there. Calculate the total cost of applying paint. Now, the nice thing is I already did the work here. So I need three coats times 619, right? So three times 619 is 1857 square feet. And there's that painful uh, conversion that needs to happen again, right? We have squared yards, and I'm dealing with square feet. So I will do it this way, right? Um, 22.2 squared yards, and I will use one yard has three feet, okay? I will square it. So that is the equivalent of... Sorry, not equals, times. Three squared is nine, so it's nine square feet. And this would be one squared yard. Cancel, cancel. So it's really 22.2 times nine, which ends up being 199.8 exactly square feet. Sorry, I'm off, off script here. There. So you get a mark for this conversion for sure. So I can use 619 from my previous answer. News flash here, if, if you made a mistake up here, let's say you came up, you used 700, and you're using that 700 here, I would not take away marks again, okay? I would take off one here, but then I'm, I'm just assuming, okay, like you figured out your surface area, that's what you think you need to paint, and we're just gonna roll with it. So everything else will have to be adjusted uh, accordingly. Okay, so three coats of that. I need to figure out how many cans. 1857 square feet divided by 199.8 square feet. That is 9.29 something, right? Which is the equivalent of 10 cans that need to be purchased for this particular project. So the cost is 10 times uh, 84.74 times 1.12, and 
and that gives me 949 and 9 cents. And watch what I'm going to do here. And you, you can feel free, if you're using a marker or a pen, you, you add as much as you need to. But I'm going to write this 199.8 right here. 199.8 square feet. Okay? So that, that value can be replaced. Instead of saying a can covers this much square yards, you can now say a can covers that many square feet. Okay? I told you I like highlighters, right? So I'm just going to do one of these. Sticks out like a sore thumb, right? And this 199 down here, I'm going to highlight that up here so you know what happened. Right? How did I get those numbers? I had to do some converting. Okay? That is what happened. So one mark for the conversion here. Right, one mark for the conversion and another mark for figuring out the cost after taxes. Okay. And I will post this key as a PDF as well if you want. I need to hurry a little bit. I'm running short on time. So this page, we have three and two would be five, right? I don't know if you want to put down a mark out of five at the bottom of this page. And let's proceed to our, and I'm going to rip this out too. That's why I stapled it. I know now why I ordered it. So I calculated the total cost of installing the carpet after tax. And what do I know about the carpets? They come in rolls of this many square centimeters and they cost that much per roll. So I'm going to figure out the area of the floor would be length times width, right? Which is, in this case, 15 by 20, which is 300 square feet exactly. Okay, So that should be part of your work. I'm going to convert. Let me just go back here in my key. The 83, I'm going to do that on the side here. The 83,612.7 centimeters squared, I'm going to convert that to feet. Um, I checked and I'm pretty sure you have this conversion the ratio. Okay, so I have that one foot is uh, has 30.48 centimeters, correct? I looked at my booklet, which was written uh, in the one of the boxes. So that's the one I'm using. Okay. And uh, this ends up being 83612.7 square centimeters times one square foot over. I need help on this one. I don't have that exactly on my key because I did it in one shot, but I feel like I would like you to see that step. That's 929.0304, actually stops, right? Cent centimeters squared. So you cancel these out. So it's this divided by that, right? So 83612.7 divided by that, which is 89.9999, and that keeps going, uh, square feet. So one roll, right, covered by one roll. Okay. So to figure out the rolls, I'm going to go 300 square feet divided by 89.99, and that keeps going square feet. So 300 divided by that. Is your head spinning? Right? which is approximately four rolls that I need to purchase. And uh, here's the cost. Cost would be four times, and now I'm peaking, it's 256.5. That should have been 50 because it's dollars, but that's okay. It won't affect our calculation. 
I get 1,149 and 12 cents. And uh, here's the breakdown. I would give you, just because this had to be done brand new, so one for the 300 square feet, one for the conversion of some sort, and one mark for the actual price or the cost after tax. And uh, I told you I like highlighters, right? Yes, I know. Stop mentioning, right? So that one, I'm going to bring that to my first page and just say uh, 89.999 square feet, which is what that is, okay? The equivalent. So I'm going to highlight that orange. This is for you. The highlighting is for you. Okay. Whew, right now we get to uh, the carpet uh, installation so this is labor okay you will see that in grade 12 applied when we do rentals when it's labor it's it's just five percent and I told you that here explicitly so the company will charge an installation fee of 85 cents per square feet this is important what is this really saying? It's 85 cents for every square foot, not partial foot, a whole square foot, right? So the area of the floor happens to be exactly 300 square feet. So we don't need to worry about partial square footages here. So I'm just going to go uh, cost is 300 times 85 cents times 1.05, not 1.5, because that would be 50% tax, right? I don't think that would be fair. Uh, and so this gives you 267.75. And I will make an arrow, right? Not 1.12, but 1.05. If this had been 300, 0.75 square feet you would have had to go 301 right round it up to the nearest square foot and then figure out your cost okay mm -hmm. grand total just add uh, a plus b plus c plus d that's really what that is uh, and just for the sake of time i'm just going to give you the answer without actually writing out each individual number. So this page, um, how about this, uh, guys, just because some of you didn't finish, this is my gift to you. We're going to scratch that last one, like we're not going to count it under our marks. I know some of you are like, what? Right? But uh, some of some folks didn't finish, so this will be blank. And I just want to know, like, up until this point, how were you doing, right? Not including E. So uh, this page is therefore worth five. So this one omit for grading purposes. So five and five would be 10. So this whole thing is out of 10. How about this? If you did the last one, it's a bonus. So you get, you can technically score 11 out of 10. How's that? Does that make you happy? Okay, but it's gonna be officially out of 10. And the last one is a bonus. And, and this is it for AC correction. Uh, make sure your name is on both uh, pieces if you've ripped them apart. And try to maybe fold the corner so that they kind of stay together as, as you're gonna hand them in. So I want you to face them upside down, face them so that your name is facing down and then everybody just pass it forward so I can collect it. And I want you to grab your booklet real quick before, before I say goodbye to you guys. Go to page 13.
Go to your booklet, page 13, real quick. I will, this will be a bit more than you're used to, okay? So I'm going to go, but I'm going to explain this to you if you, if, if you want to kind of have, be a bit more selective. I'm going to post pages 13 to 15, the key for it. So I'm, I'm basically assigning it. What is in here, guys? This is a bit of a review of what we've done so far. Some converting, right? There's just plain converting, right? And then there's converting rates, which we've done. And then on page 14, there's a bit more there word problems. Some of you weren't sure, like, should I do a proportion or what should I do here? It review This part reviews that, okay? And then we start a little bit of Reynolds here. And 15 is the one I would really want you to try for sure. Um, one more random question there uh, before we move on. So we're going to switch gears a little bit tomorrow, okay, guys? So I will post 13 to 15. Will you do every single one? If you do, way to go. I, I don't want to discourage that. If you need to do every single one, do it. But I also know that you're busy, right? Grade 12, grade 11, grade 12 is, you're busy, right? Some of you are taking chemistry, physics, um, so you need to balance life a little bit. 